Thank you for choosing Guardian Medical Monitoring, the leader in emergency response systems. Guardian is a family-owned and operated company that has served your life, safety, and security needs since 1930. Our professionally trained staff and our UL FM approved monitoring station is here to assist you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. This video will assist you in placement, installation, and testing of your new Guardian 2000 emergency response system. The contents of the box contain the following. The Guardian 2000 with telephone cord, a box containing the pendant, wrist strap, necklace, the technical manual, the monitoring agreement, HIPAA form, and installation checklist. The monitoring agreement and installation checklist will be completed during the installation. Each device is linked to a client by their address, phone number, circuit box number, and serial number. The circuit box number, seven digits, and the serial number, eight digits, are located on top of the box as well as the bottom of the device. Linking the device can be completed prior to or during the installation. To link a device, contact Guardian Medical Monitoring at 866-890-9200 and tell them you are installing and linking a new unit. They will then walk you through the process and take the information needed. All the information on the activation and monitoring agreement must be verified and submitted at this time. When determining where to install your Guardian 2000, you should consider the following. The location of power outlet and phone jacks in the home. A helpful hint is to make sure the outlet selected is not controlled by a light switch. Ideally, you'd like to find a central location in your home, keeping in mind where the resident spends the majority of their time. Plug one end of the phone cord into the back of the device labeled line. If there is a phone at this location, it must be unplugged from the phone jack and plugged into the back of the device labeled phone. Remove the screw from the outlet face plate, plug the transformer into the lower outlet, and secure with the screw provided. Turn the unit over, locate the power switch, and move it to the on position. The unit will announce, timer off, and the green power light will remain steady. If the green power light is blinking, make sure the power supply is plugged in and not on a switched outlet. Now the unit is ready to be tested. The first test should be done by pressing the large round help button on the unit. The device will continuously alarm and announce emergency for approximately 30 seconds as the unit calls the toll-free number at our monitoring station. The operator will say, Lydia. You should respond. I'm okay. I'm just testing the unit. After verifying the signal, the operator will terminate the call and automatically reset the device. At least two more tests should be done with the pendant from various locations in the house. The pendant can be attached to either an adjustable necklace or bracelet. The instructions are included in the box with the pendant. These tests are used to verify that the signal can be sent from the pendant to the unit and to determine the client's ability to communicate with our operators. Testing may also be done outside the home to determine the signal range. For example, if the client goes to their mailbox, you should at least test to make sure the signal reaches that far. Remember, our monitoring station won't be able to hear them on the two-way. They will, however, be able to send help if proper communication cannot be made. During this testing period, it's important that the client is comfortable pressing the pendant and speaking to the operators. If the power light is flashing green, then check the connections on the backup battery. If the yellow light is on, then there is an internal problem and the system should be replaced. If a signal has been sent in error, Press the clear button on the unit. If a signal has been sent but the device doesn't connect to the monitoring station, check both ends of the phone line connections. If there is already a phone cord plugged into the jack, how is the device connected? Remove the phone cord from the phone and plug it into the back of the unit labeled line. Use the phone cord included with the Guardian 2000 and plug one end into the port labeled phone and the other end into the phone. Finally, the monitoring agreement must be completed and faxed to our toll-free number. 
The installation checklist will also be completed with the client during the installation.